Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a super cool DIY project for you, a mini grinder made from an old HDD. Yep, that's right. While browsing printables for 3D printing models, I stumbled upon a project where someone turned a hard drive into a grinder. I just had to try it out. So, let's dive in, and I'll show you how I built mine with some spare parts and a little bit of 3D printing magic. First things first, I dug through my stash and found an old HDD that I wasn't using. If you have some old hard drives lying around, this is a great way to repurpose them. Disassembling the HDD took me about 30 minutes removing all the screws, taking out the platters, and getting to the motor. If you've never opened up a hard drive before, it's actually pretty satisfying. Just make sure you have the right screwdrivers since some HDDs use special security screws. Once I had the motor exposed, it was time to move on to the next step 3D printing the parts. I grabbed my PLA filament and started printing the parts I found on printables. The print took about 2 hours, which gave me some time to clean up the HDD casing and prepare for assembly. Now, here's where things got interesting my HDD wasn't the same as the one in the printables project. That meant I had to make some modifications. I had to drill some extra holes to mount the switch properly, and I adjusted some parts to fit my specific HDD model. But hey, that's part of the fun with DIY projects. Sometimes things don't fit perfectly, and you need to improvise. For power, I found some old but working laptop batteries in my stash. Since I already had all the other parts, this project turned out to be pretty budget friendly. To make this grinder even more useful, I decided to add a DC motor regulator from AliExpress. This allows me to control the motor speed, which is super helpful when working on different materials. If you're planning to build one, I definitely recommend getting a speed controller it makes a huge difference. Now it was time to put everything together. About an hour of assembling connecting the motor, installing the speed regulator, and wiring up the power.
I attached a new grinder disc to the HDD motor, made sure everything was secure, and gave it a test run. And it worked. If I had used the exact same parts as in the project manual, assembly would have been faster. But since I had to do some rework, it took a bit longer. Either way, the result was worth it. Now, let's be honest this grinder isn't super powerful, but for small cuts and light sanding, it does the job just fine. If you need something heavy duty, this won't replace a real grinder. But as a fun DIY project and a way to repurpose old tech, it's definitely worth trying. That's it for today's build. If you like this project, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss more cool DIY content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.